Antonian, who ranks number five on your list? Hi, Dwayne. For my all-time list in the number five position, I have Evelyn Asher. She has a personal record of 1076, which is awesome in the modern era of women sprinting. Consistently, she beat the East German. She breaks her old world record. She has two Olympic medals, and she's just 0.4 away from the world record eventually taken by Flojo. This is a hard thing to do, but I have a tie for fifth place. I have Veronica Campbell Brown and Merlene Otti in the number five position. All These right, TB, two Olympic bronze medal, a world championship gold, two world championship silver medals, PB of 1076 puts her in an elite category for me. Many might think my decision for Merlene Otti is one where she didn't win a title, but Merlene Otti for me gets into this mix because of longevity. Seven Olympic games, she runs a 1074. She has three Olympic medals, two bronze and a silver, four world championship medals, two silvers and two bronze. It's hard for me not to include Merle Nati, even though she doesn't have an individual title. Dwayne, who do you have in your fourth spot? At number four, I got Gail Devers. Back to back in the Olympics, 92 and 96, the second woman to ever do that. 1993 world champion, Panam goal in 87. She's 27th on the all-time list with a personal best of 1082. But in fairness to Gail, 20 of those women would have competed after she retired or when she was in decline. Who do you have? Well, in my fourth spot, I have somebody that you would not have contemplated as a part of your list any at all just because of the shadow that surrounds her but for me i cannot have a top five list of all-time women in the hundred without including the great marion jones yes you yes, must doing. be dreaming yes doing i know i know i know i know but for me marion has separated herself even prior to her furor with the law so even though she ran 1065 at altitude, she has run 1070. Yes, we know she has four world championship medals and her proxi proximity to the world record places her 10 places away. For technique, only one other person for me has a better technique than Marion on my all-time five list. And so in fourth place, I'm giving Marion. Although Gail is on an honorable mention, and as a hurdler, I would have wanted to include her, but we're only dealing with the 100. And because of that, Gail doesn't factor in my list, but Marion Jones does. Who do you have in third place? Tony, and this might be a big surprise, but I have Elaine thompson Kira, the fourth woman to go back to back at the Olympics in the 100 meters, second fastest of all time, maybe the unofficial world record holder but in the modern era if you don't have any world championship medals and titles i don't think you get anywhere close to the top two in my third spot i have carmelita jetta carmelita is consistent she has six world championship finals she has three olympic finals and she has four world championship medals also when i look at her technique carmelita we know is a technician I would have just put her below Marion, but for me, because of consistency, I have Carmelita Jetta as my third ranked athlete. Tony, and you're throwing this list off. I don't even know how Jetta makes this list. I like Carmelita. Who is at number two for Tony and Doyle? Drum roll, please. And in second place, I already know where you would place her, but for me, she's my second place runner. In terms of technique, she's known as a pocket rocket, but Shelley's technique falls short. If she gets an excellent start, we know she's going to fade at the end. Her proximity to the world record, we know she's the third fastest athlete ever. She has four Olympic medals and four world championship medals. That therefore places her obviously in my top two. And I'm coming down at 1060, Shelley Ann Fraser Price is my second ranked athlete. Dwayne, I, I, I have to go home. I needed to take my glasses off for that one. I don't. I don't know what I'm hearing. I am. I, I am done. I mean, this is really not making sense to me today. Tonian, in number two for me is a is a woman that you had on your top list. You had her at number five, and it's Evelyn Ashford. It's a beautiful runner. You know, three goals and a silver medal at major games. 
Olympic gold in 84, comes back and gets a silver in 88 behind Flojo. She was fifth place in Montreal. She missed out in Moscow in 1980 because of the Cold War. But this was a woman that was consistently number one in the world over and over again. Lovely runner. She had some hamstring issues and injuries and so on. But And for me, her world record needed to last longer than <laughs> the world record that we saw. So Evelyn Ashford for me, for all she's done for the sport as well, gets into the number two position. Dwayne, we've had some ups, we've had some downs, we have some disagreements. Who do you have in your first part? Let me tell you something. <laughs> you could have walked off the bed, rolled <laughs> off the bed. It doesn't matter how you woke up this morning, but you needed to have had Shelly and Fraser Price on top of the list. The most decorated 100 meter athlete ever. Back to back at the Olympics, four world titles, more Olympic medals than anybody on the planet in the 100 meters. She needs SEAL Team 6 to guard <laughs> those medals. Three Diamond League titles, best start of all time, technique wise. And you don't have her on the number one spot. I am done. I don't <laughs> even know who can be in front of Shelly and Fraser Price. In my spot, in the top place, I have the great, the greatest technician, the best finisher that we have out there. The person who you could write in the dictionary if you wanted to have technique beside. Proximity to the world record. She has the second fastest time of all time. Yes, we might define the medals in terms of the Olympics and the world championships. She does have fewer global medals than Shelly and Fraser Price, but I think her 1054 speaks for itself and its consistency with which that she runs it. My top spot, Elaine thompson Hero. Mm -mm. I love <laughs> Elaine. You know, she's in my all-time top five. But the medal chest the quality. is a bit empty for me. Nah, not yet. My top, let me tell you how confident I am with my number one position. That number one position cannot be overtaken until after the Paris Olympics. And only one person that could walk that over would be Elaine. So she needs to go Paris before I would give up that number one position. But she has had a shorter career and she has achieved so much in such a short time. And I think I cannot overlook 10.54. I have and nothing to do with Shelly. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about Elaine at the top spot. She has uh, all the goods for me. You're and... wrong today, Tony. You're wrong. <laughs> At well, least in I Fanatic think... Nation, tell her <laughs> that she's wrong. If you agree with Duane or you think that my list is a better list, please leave us a little note below and to tell us what your thoughts are. And with that, thank you for joining us on The Athlete and the Fanatic. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.